Hey, what's going on? What the heck are essential oils, and why do I keep up making all these videos about them? Let's start with the first one of those. What are essential oils? I'm going to try to explain this in the most basic way that my Neanderthal man brain could possibly think of. This is beer. If you don't like beer, pretend this is a coffee because some of what I'm about to explain kind of transfers over. Um, if you don't like coffee, pretend it's tea. Again, it'll transfer over. If you don't like tea, I don't know, man. I'm sorry. You may know that in order to be a beer, you have to have uh, one of four ingredients. Water, uh, barley or wheat, which wheat and barley, kind of the same, same category there. Hops and yeast. So in order to explain what essential oils are, I'm going to focus on the hops. Because while the water imparts the liquid part of the beer, the grain imparts the sugars that the yeast then goes in and eats and then creates the carbonation and the alcohol, it is the hops that impart flavor. In the brewing process, when those hop leaves are actually boiled and heated up, the oils are actually extracted from the hop leaf. So for no other reason are hops in a beer other than to get those essential oils. And those essential oils are found in any plant-based, just about anything. It's crazy. You could think of lavender, pine, ylang lang, frankincense. They get that from the bark of the tree. Spruces, rose, valerian, they actually get that from the root of the valerian root. Really is incredible, these essential oils. And I hate to burst your bubble, but if you like beer, coffee, or tea, you've been enjoying the benefits of essential oils for a long time. So cheers. So why have I been making all of these essential oil videos? There's really no other way to say it. They're awesome. They're amazing. You might not know, but I used to have to use my inhaler like four to five times a week. And I haven't used my inhaler since I started using these essential oils. That's been almost four years. That's crazy. I'm also allergic to the outside, cats, dogs, deer, and elephant that I know of for sure. But I can go outside when I use these oils. I can be around cats and dogs. I don't mind going to the zoo anymore. I'm not joking, I'll tell you about it in another video, but basically a deer hit my car and fur went everywhere and I was like, I was a mess. I was sneezing and my eyes were tearing up, it was awful. And as a kid, I rode an elephant one time and hives everywhere. But with these essential oils, it's a natural, amazing way that I don't have to worry about that stuff anymore. In some of my other videos, you may have seen me talk about the emotional benefits of it. Those are astounding as well. Go watch that video I made about the Young Living's Feelings Kit. It's amazing. Yeah, I know a lot of people just use oils because they smell good. And you could get them over the counter. But I gotta tell you, what you're getting over the counter is pretty much garbage in comparison to Young Living. They've got this seed to seal thing, and that's basically their way of saying that we are not adulterating or watering down these things in any way, shape, or form. When you get essential oil from Young Living, it is strictly 100% essential oil. Do you know that companies can use the word pure on their bottle? If they have only like 5% pure lavender and the rest water, they can use the word pure? So ultimately, that's why I'm making these videos. This stuff is absolutely amazing and we want to tell people about it. Kelly, my wife, has a website called themoreyouoil.com. Go there, learn more about it, and you'll find this button in the top corner that says Enroll Now. That is where you can get started with your essential oil journey. If you have any questions while you're signing up, leave a comment under this video or send me a message somehow. I don't know if you're watching this on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or wherever. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help you get started. Thanks for watching. Oils. That's awesome. Sometimes with like a Corona, you can put a drop of lime oil and uh, that's really good. Some Hefeweizen beers, put like drops of orange in there or like rim the top with orange. It's like, it's amazing. Maybe I'll make an episode just about drink recipes. Sound like a good idea? That sounds like a great idea. I don't need to ask you, I know that's a great idea.